Man's Body. Hey, It's B Day Monday. Okay. Family gathering. I've gathered everybody here because we're going to do. Um, by the way, what a good looking family y'all look at. Look at your brother and I take a picture. It's funny. <laughs> All I, all I said was, I said, everybody gather in front of the beehives, let's make a group plan, and, and, and it just looks like they're ready for a portrait. Aww. <laughs> um, beehives look good. That was, did that. Y'all did a good job on that. Um, thank you for... You're welcome. 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 What about you? You didn't say welcome? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Today's plan is we're going to put a fence around the bee yard and we're actually going to do three more hives right next to here so the fence has got to be big enough to um, to put three more. So what our plan is is we're going to do three more hives right next to there so we've got to make a big enough fence bee yard for now. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to, well we don't have our pulse pounder. Why? You want to run and go get the pulse pounder? Sure. Okay. I have corner stakes. What do you call them? Blue, uh, uh, corner survey? Survey stakes. Survey stakes. They survey marked it. And so they have like it's in the ground. I'll show you guys. We're, so we need to line that up and put some pulse along here. So we're right on our fence line. So we have one way down there that's a survey stake. And we have one all the way down there. And so we're going to have to mark that, and then we're going to have to eyeball it and get that in between. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing we need to do, is develop a straight line. Yeah. So let's do that. You guys want to help me on that? Yeah. We should do something goofy, like put our hands out and say, like, Team Dean. Ready? Team, Team Dean! Dean! <laughs> that's fun. We're nerds. We are nerds. We are nerds. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Hey, okay, you got the uh, pulse pounder? Yeah. And keep your eye out for our other pulse pounder. We still haven't found that one yet. I like our old pulse pounder. Yeah. Because it's an old pulse pounder. And so, also it's bigger. Yes, it's bigger. This one's kind of not liking this. So review. I like my old pulse pounder a lot better. I don't like this one. The reason why I don't like this pulse pounder, such a narrow hole. And so when you're holding this above your head. And you're trying to you're trying to get it on the T pulse still, and it you just uh, 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 uh. it it just I like the bigger ones better because it's just uh, you know it's like the difference between a 22 and a shotgun. Okay, here is our property marker right here, Savage Survey, um, little property marker. This says. Um, the corner of our property and so we're going to put that post here so you can eyeball it down there mm -hmm. and we'll put a few posts along here so we're going to mark this and get a straight line All right. got a pulse pounder? yep nice alright so we'll just go just in on our side Now, if I hit oil and oil comes out, you may never see me and my family again. We'll be somewhere in the Bahamas. <laughs> so here's the other marker. So that's probably, if we went just straight with this, we'll probably be perfect. What do you think? Yeah. So, crap. Please pulse pounder. <laughs> Okay. Note to self, when having to go get T-Post Pounder, take the van. It's a lot farther walk than I thought. <laughs> I'm thinking just like that, right up against it. Okay. All right? Yep. Okay, I can see that one way down there. Cook it. Mm -hmm. Leaning maybe in. But we got this. We can reset it now. Yeah. Okay. 
all this just to get a straight line so I can put a little bit of fence in. We get my uh, not awesome pulse pounder. I don't like it. Don't buy it. It's cheap. $24 is what it cost. But I've also seen like, is it $24? Yeah. $24. I bought it because of this, because straighten out the pulse. And then they have other $25 ones that have a bigger opening, but they don't have this. I think I'd rather have a bigger opening than have this. Mm -hmm. That's just FYI. thinking of different kind of gate methods to do so we're just going we just uh, we're just gonna take the excess here and uh, and just maybe make a little little hook out of out of this wire oh boy there you go maybe just make a little hook out of the wire and just just kind of hook it and um, that's our gate that's that's about as redneck and cheap as you can get for a gate which probably works better than the high dollar ones so this is our gate Come on in, come on in. Um, so our plans are, we're gonna come back with a barbed wire up on top so a cow won't lean over. Okay, we're fenced off there. We're fenced off. And we have room for growth. We're gonna put three more hives right here and so now we're in between two fences. This is cool. We decided, I don't know if I spoke about this, but we decided to go with this welded wire fence and that's to keep raccoons and skunks from out. Uh, they'll, they're probably, they'll probably outsmart it and dig under and go over, but it'll slow them down. And meanwhile, that'll give the bees a chance to fight them off. And, uh, cause I'm sure it'll be the honey that'll draw their attention. So while they're fighting to get through the fence, they'll be getting stung. And then, once they get through that line of defense, they have to, they have to stand up right here. They, as they stand up, trying to figure out how to get this high up, the bees are gonna come out and sting them right on the belly. And that's gonna, that's, that's defense number two. And so, hopefully, we've helped, we've given the bees a fighting chance. Get that fighting, stinging. <laughs> Step into the beehive. It's Bee Day Monday. What day is it? 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 Bee Day. <laughs> day Day. <laughs> day Day. Hey guys, thank you for being part of Bee Day, Bee Day Monday. Monday.